a man sued Apple for not including a charger in the box with their phones and won. Hi, welcome to Z Gadget Review. Let me take you back to a couple of years when Apple decided that they were going to be an environmentally friendly company. And one of the steps that they were going to take for such environmentally friendliness was that they were going to remove the chargers out of the boxes of iPhones. They said that this would lower their carbon footprint. Not only that, but also the waste that chargers might create. There was a lot of people who were skeptical about it. There was a lot of people who celebrated the move. But in reality, the move wasn't really for the environment. The move was really for Apple's pocket because they knew that people who bought a new iPhone for the first time will be forced to purchase a charger from them or a charger from a third party, which, by the way, Apple gets a cut out of those sales because whatever technology is being used by third parties is being uh, given from Apple. So Apple gets a cut, a royalty, if you will, for the sale of that product. So all around, Apple makes money no matter what. The real reason why they did it is because in their shipping, they could fit more fonts, just like other companies like Samsung and Google, for example, you have the boxes for a phone that is super, super thin. If you add a charger here, the box gets fatter. So it will probably be something like this. And this small amount of space between what the box would be and what the box is now means that you can put more phones on top of each other. So when you're shipping out devices, you get more out to the public, meaning that you can sell more, you can ship more for less money. Therefore, you end up making more money in your bottom line. This takes us all the way to Brazil, where a man bought an iPhone. And once he bought the iPhone and opened the box, he realized that there was no charger in the box. And he was like, hold on, how am I supposed to charge this thing without a charger? And then he realized, I have to buy a charger to charge the device that I just spent a lot of money on purchasing. This is not right. This is unfair. And so he took his case to court, where a judge agreed with him and awarded him $1,075 against Apple. Now, this might not sound like a lot of money, but it's still a win for the little guy against a gigantic corporation. And of course, the corporation, aka Apple, can turn around and appeal it and, you know, try to not pay the guy a thousand dollars. But there is precedence on Apple not doing the right thing, especially in Brazil, because on March of last year, they were fined two million dollars for false advertisement and not including a charger. So this isn't the first time that Brazil is going against Apple. The Consumer Protection Agency in Brazil's Sao Paulo state has fined Apple $2 million for failing to include chargers within iPhone 12 boxes. According to 9to5Mac, Procon SP says Apple engaged in misleading advertisements selling a device without a charger on unfair terms. The reason why the judge agreed with the individual who filed the lawsuit and awarded him that money is because Brazil has a law where Thai sales are prohibited. By Thai sales, it means that you cannot sell a product that requires a separate purchase in order to make that product work. In this case, buying an iPhone without a charger means that the iPhone technically doesn't work. So if you're selling an iPhone without a charger and you have to go and buy a charger separately to make that iPhone work, then that's considered a Thai sale. And I guess Apple could argue that they include a cable in the box. But with a cable in the box without a power brake, you really can't do anything to charge it except plug it into a computer, for example, or a power bank, which means that now you got to carry a power bank with you or carry a computer with you at all places that you go to to charge the device or, you know, have a computer close to you whenever you need to charge it. 
It just doesn't make sense and is inconvenient for the person who owns the device to have to figure out a way to charge their device, right? Because think about it. If you bought a TV and the TV just came with a TV without a power cable because you had to buy a power cable because the company decided that, hey, we're going to be environmentally friendly and we're not going to include a power cable in our box, then you will be like, hey, hold on, what? One of the things that Apple argued originally when they were removing chargers from the boxes is that households had plenty of chargers laying around their homes in order to use the device. And that can be true if you are a long standing customer of Apple, right? If you're a person who's been living in the iPhone environment for years, you most likely have multiple chargers laying around. What conditions those might be in, it's debatable, but the thing is that you might have them. Now, the person who buys an iPhone for the first time isn't necessarily going to have one of those laying around. If I switch to iPhones tomorrow, I wouldn't have a way to charge my iPhone unless I went out and purchased a charger from either Apple or a third party. And so being so naive as a corporation to assume that every single person who buys your product is going to have that device that you need to charge the device. And that little hole in the whole idea of your product being environmentally friendly makes the whole thing fall apart. Because that means that I will have to go buy a new power brick, which supposedly is going to become trash or affect the environment in a negative way in order to be able to use your phone. It makes sense that the guy has won his lawsuit against Apple. Now, will this make Apple change their ways? I don't think so. Two million dollars that Brazil find them is nothing to a company that made six billion dollars because they don't include chargers in their boxes anymore. A thousand dollars? Of course not. A thousand dollars is like a penny to them. So while this is good news to have, while this is good precedent that there's people out there that are unhappy with the fact that Apple isn't including chargers and, and not only Apple, right? To give you an idea, in Brazil, the iPhone costs $1,630. So you're spending $1,630 on a device and then you got to go out there and buy a charger that might cost a lot of money because a charger from Apple isn't cheap. The other issue is that if you don't have enough money to spend on a charger, right? You don't, you don't have $40 to spend on a charger when you already spend over $1,000 on the phone, then you might buy a cheap charger. And if that cheap charger fries your phone, Apple isn't going to replace a phone for you. They're not going to be like, hey, sorry we didn't include the charger in the box. Sorry you had to go buy a cheaper charger that fried your phone. They're just going to say, hey, guess what? You shouldn't have used a charger that wasn't approved by us. Sorry, you want a new phone? You got to buy a new one. Why does this happen in countries that are not the U.S.? Why isn't the U.S. doing something like this? Why aren't people out there in the U.S. who are getting together and saying, hey, you need to include a charger in the box. This whole idea that you're doing stuff for the environment is a bunch of BS. Put your chargers in the box and sell us the phone as a complete package as it should be instead of trying to get away with the fact that you can ship more devices and make more money out of your envi environmentally friendly uh, message. It's never made sense to me. It doesn't make sense to me, especially for you Apple customers who just lay down and take it because that's what you do every single time. The reason I'm going after Apple is because they were the first ones to do it. They were the pioneers, if you want to call them, of not including chargers in the box. But there's also the silver lining that because this guy won a lawsuit, that this opens the door for other people to sue Apple for chargers. And if that happens, then that will probably show Apple that they need to start including chargers in their boxes and reverse some of the practices that they have been putting in place. I'm not going to hold my breath because it's Apple and Apple has a 
um, way of not giving a crap about what their customers want or feel. They just charge forward and they're like, you know what? They're going to buy the product. It doesn't matter. And you know what? People buy the product and it doesn't matter. And that's a problem. And that's a problem that you as a Apple consumer need to change. Do you think that Apple will change their ways when it comes to chargers in the box? Do you think that this will make it so more people actually get together and try to file a, let's call it, class action lawsuit against Apple for their horrible consumer, anti-consumer practices? Because technically that's what it is at the end of the day. Let me know in the comment section. That is it for me. Go ahead and subscribe. Give us a thumbs up if you have the channel. Go ahead and hit that bell so you can be reminded every time we have new videos or be informed or to let you know every time we, every time we upload videos. God, I completely forgot what I usually say on that line. So this will be a little different. Thank you very much and have a good day.